All right, guys. Um, it is finally time to get into all of this change. Um, I have been saving this forever. Um, I've been teasing you guys about it. And it is finally time to get through it um, and see what we have. Now, obviously, since it's loose coin, I kind of already know what's in here. Um, but I'm hunting it mainly because... Um, in uh, a few weeks, we're, um, going up to Canada, and I know there's quite a few Canadian coins in there. Um, I'd say at least $10 in Canadian coins. Um, so, it obviously, it'd be nice to have that, um, even though it's not too much. Um, and, also, I'm planning to go to do another decently big, faraway bank trip. And so, um, there, I, I believe there's probably at least 30 or $40 in, um, loose coins. Um, so, as I've kind of mentioned, all of these coins are from Coinstar, change, just change in general, finding coins in the ground, and, uh, coin, just change that my, uh, family members give me. And what I mean by that is, like, if we go to a grocery store and they pay for something in change, a lot of times they just give the change to me because they know I like it, and they know that I'm doing this, so... I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek, um, there's a lot of foreigns in here, um, and they're 99% in the, from the coin star. So, here it is, um, uh, yep, there's a button in there also, um, you can already see a couple foreigns right away, um, but what I'm going to do is... I'm going to start pulling out some of the foreigns, and every few foreign coins I'll show you um, what I found. Um, or, like, if I found a silver, um, because I know there's some silver in here. Um, and, um, or, like, um, you know, if I find, like, a, you know, an old Jefferson nickel, because um, I know there's at least an old Jefferson nickel in there. Uh, or some something else that's cool. Um, but as for foreign coins, I'll kind of pull out every, uh, I'll, uh, pull out everything I see, and then every so often I'll give you guys a wrap-up of what I have. Um, so, I'm gonna get into this, I'm gonna start pulling out coins, and what I'm also gonna do is I'm going to, um, pull out, uh, you know, as I'm pulling out the foreign coins and other finds, I'm going to pull out all the quarters, you know, um, I, there's a half dollar in there too. Quarters, um, dimes, nickels, pennies, and it, uh, you know, organize them in roll pattern. So like I'll, I'll try, I'll find 40 quarters and then I'll make a roll out of that. Um, so that way I can roll it and get at least some of it back to the bank. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to stop talking. Um, I know some of you guys might be waiting for this. I'm going to get started. I'm going to remove this button <laughs> and, um... I'll bring you guys in on my first few finds that I pull out. Alright, well we're in the first um, first handful, and uh, I know I'd bring you guys in on the first few finds, but I, I thought I'd just show you guys this. Um, it is a Polish coin, 2001. It is tiny. One grossive. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Definitely not that way. Um, way smaller than a penny. And uh, smaller than a dime, I believe. Yep, it's teeny. But that's a find right there, and I'll take it. Let's keep going. All right, already um, at a couple different handfuls, I found quite a few more coins. Um, quite a few bigger coins too. Um, first is this um, two euro cent from Spain. This is España right there. Um, I might sort these by continent, um, unless we get, like, some that are a lot from one country. Um, I might do, um, them by continents, but with Canada, I might just show it separately because there's a lot of Canadian coins in here because, um, where we are, we get a lot of Canadian coins. So this is Spain, um, right there, um, and then we got Canadian, 2008 quarter. Um, and then got a $2 coin from 2008, and then a 2015 
two dollar coin with a bear on there. Um, and then we got a coin from Mexico, five pesos from 2006. Another Canadian coin, nickel from 2003. Uh, big coin. This one's really big. It's about almost the size of a half dollar. Um, it's a really big coin. Twenty. New Zealand, wow, 1982, 20-something, I'm not sure, if you guys in the comments know what 20-something is, 20 cents, I would assume, unless it's 20 pence, uh, and then I got one of these tokens, um, I'm not sure what they're for, but I occasionally find these, so, not necessarily, not a coin, but I'll put tokens over there, all right, um, yeah, um, I'm just going to pull out this other big coin because I see it on top. This one is the size of a half dollar. Hold on. I dumped the half dollar back in the thing. In fact, it's actually a little bigger than a half dollar. 50-something. Again, from New Zealand. Wow, 2001. This thing is massive. This thing is absolutely massive. It is bigger than a half dollar. I don't think it's quite the size of an Ike dollar. Um... But it, it it is huge. Like, here's a half dollar. It it's bigger, which is crazy. So that is a great find. I love finding like massive coins like that. It's really cool to me. All right, um, let's keep going. All right, I just dumped out the next handful, and I think we have our first silver there. And I say our first because I know there's more than one. Let's see, yep. Definitely. 1964. Awesome. This one I found on the Coinstar. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't know where else I would have found it. Um, so, awesome. Silver is silver. Denver Mint Mark. Nice, nice finds. Um, I don't see any more foreigns in here. The W? No. Nope. That'd be awesome. Oh, there's a foreign. There's a foreign that I didn't even notice. Five cents. Wow, that's cool. New Zealand. A lot. I got a lot from New Zealand. Um, and I think I found all those in one coin star. Um, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to start stacking some of these. Um, some of these Canadian ones. I'm going to start stacking on my country. Um, and then if the stacks get too big, I'll start, um, you know, trying to create it more organized. Um, so, uh, let, let, let's keep going. Hopefully we'll find more silver. All right, um, I got some more finds. I've been going through, um, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> doing some more handfuls, and, um, got a few more coins, so I thought I'd show you. Um, you got another Canadian coin here. Um, a dime from 2005. Um, but that with Canadian coins... Um, I got another Canadian nickel from uh, 2009, funny enough. Um, and then I got... Um, this I thought was really cool. So, this is another Polish coin, 10 Groski, but it's from 2022. Um, I, that is definitely the newest foreign coin I've ever found. Um, I don't think I've even... As far as Canadian coins go, I don't even know if I've gotten any 2020 uh, Canadian coins. So, um, that's awesome. 2022 Polish coin. Um, that's an exciting find. And then we got our second from Poland. Um, our second really tiny coin from Poland. Um, and then a third coin from Poland here, a little bit bigger. Um, 2009. 50 Groski. Um, right there. Um, and then we got a token. And I find this funny because this is from a place in California. Sherman Oaks Castle. Um, it's really beat up, but I'm not. We're not in California, so I thought that was kind of funny. It's another token, um, not a coin. Um, this one was kind of cool, and it's really thick too. Um, it's a very thick coin. It says International Year of Peace, one dollar from Australia, 1986. So that's cool. That's an interesting find for sure. Um, and then I got this one from I think it's from Japan. I think. E1, um, 2015, 
I think that's from Japan. I'm not 100% sure on that, but... Um, and then I got a 2009 Canadian Penny. Um, I am eventually going to have to restack. Um, but, alright, let's keep going. Alright, um, I wanted to give you guys kind of a live look at what the piles look like that I'm pulling out. Um, I just dump, I just grabbed this pile, and as you can see, there's a lot of foreigns in here. Um, so yeah, I'm just pulling out the, um, um, you know, the quarters and separating them out, um, checking the mint marks, um, and obviously the dates to making sure I don't have anything, you know, super epic. Um, and then I pull out all the dimes, and I stack those, um, in, in their respective amounts. There's another one, there's another one, another one, another one. Right there. And then, okay, let's just get into some of these foreigns here. There's a wheat penny right there. Um, here's another Mexican coin. One peso from 2014. Uh, let's look at this weedy. Wheat penny. 1941. Our second um, interesting American coin. Uh, we got a 1992 coin. $2.00 from Australia again another thick Australian coin um, and then we got a car wash token I think it's a car wash, yeah car wash one dollar car wash token <laughs> I find it funny that it's one dollar but there's no car uh, no cash value on it um, <clears throat> and then we have um, a 2012 Canadian quarter which I will that where it belongs um, and then we have a Canadian dime from 2006 and I think that's it for foreigns in here oh there's one more one more one penny from the UK surprisingly that's our first from the UK um, all right um, oh yeah and uh, another a, a couple on the side that I forgot to show you um, we got this uh, 1977 Cayman Islands 25 cents, I'm assuming. <laughs> um, and then we got another Canadian dime from 2002. It's the one with, like, the date on the front. Um, and then a beat-up one-euro coin from the Netherlands, which uh, we don't have yet, so. All right, let's keep going. Alright, um, so I had pulled out a few coins, and then I had dumped out this, and I had realized that we have another silver right here. Um, but at first I thought I'd show you this coin from the United Arab Emirates. Again, a new, new coin. I'm just gonna put the Euro coins on there. Um, some more Canadian coins, 76, 86, and 2006 quarters. Um... So, there we go. Um, I'm going to start putting the Canadian coins to the side also. Um, because there's so, there's so many. Um, and then I got an Irish coin. One pence? Not sure. It's Ireland, though. Um, and then another Canadian coin. Canadian penny from uh, 2008. Alright. And uh, now let's get on to this. I saw... Um, this coin, which I'm pretty sure is silver. Yep, it is. 1946. San Francisco. Silver dime. Awesome. Um, and then another half dollar. 71. Not too special, but it is in good shape. I'll check it for the DDO in a minute. And then we got quarter. Um... And then another big one. Another big one from New Zealand. <laughs> another 20, uh, 20 cents. 20 pence, I'm not sure. Another one from 86. Or, not another one, but we got two of those now. Two of those big hefty coins. Um, and then I see some more Canadian coins here. Um, uh, 2007, and then another one of those ones from 2002. 
Um, and then I have another one from the United Arab Emirates. This one, uh, yeah, the one from that. Um, and then um, I got a nice 1967. It's kind of cool. Copper penny. Um, this one looks old. Yeah, it is. 1941. Right there. Um, first old Jefferson nickel of the batch. Um, I don't see anything else as far as, um, you know, good finds. So I'm going to keep moving on. We still have a lot left. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to start a part two. Um, I'll, I'll just stop the video and then upload this as a video and then continue filming and upload that as another part to this video because I've already got so many finds and there's so much more in here. So I'm going to end this. Um, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned to part two of this video.